Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about my niche things that I'm going to be discussing on this channel. Without any further ado or prolonging this intro, we're going to get right into the topic of today. Also, I'm going to be trying to go live every morning from 8 o'clock all the way till 9 or like 5 minutes before 9. Uh, it would be like me chit-chatting with you guys in the morning getting while getting ready to go to work and on the way to work so you guys will you know hopefully to see you guys there okay who am i I'm not sure if you guys can actually see this um so if you can't i'm, I'm i might use my notes but for now ugh. for now i want to explain to you guys a little bit most of you might know um Especially of those who are Christians, but if you're not, it's fine. I would love for um, I would love to share this information with you. And somehow my neighbor decided to. Uh... Molly's on today, right when I'm about to do the video. Anyway, this is who we are. We are made of a body, soul, and spirit. What you see is your body. Okay which is the reflection of you you don't actually see yourself you see like when you look in the mirror or if i'm looking at you i'm like hi i see me oh my god yes so it's me that i see i see, i mean i see a reflection of me not exactly me okay so oh, i hate this reflection like right now you guys see a reflection of this and me you guys don't actually see me in person you see a reflection of me through the video does that make sense if it doesn't comment below and then we have the soul the soul is comprised or within the soul within our soul we have our mind or within the soul category within the soul category we have oh the sun our mind where our which where our thinking happens where our thoughts are where we uh imagine things like our imagination is part of our mind where we see things with our mind and the mind is part of the soul so within our the soul within the category of our soul we also have our free will which is the best thing that god has ever given to humans okay human beings why because in the beginning god said i lay before i lay before you i'm gonna put the verse here because i don't remember exactly where it is i think it's in genesis i lay before you life and death now therefore choose life um Thinking something like this correct me I don't really care if you correct me I'm gonna put it here once I edit the video um, which means we have the free will to choose we have the free will to choose between right and wrong but a free will is something no one can take unless you live in a country where your free will is not respected okay no one cares about your free will um, and that's wrong that's the that's a human right that god has given to us right from the beginning right from the garden of eden within this category of your soul we have our mind where our thoughts our thinking happen our free will our consciousness or you know the things that we're conscious about our emotions what you feel what uh under the soul we also have the heart I'm pretty sure there's more but I'm just gonna stop right there so within your soul first let's go back here within your body you have your flesh which is you know your flesh like your skin whatever and then we said that we see a reflection of us we don't actually see yourself you know we see a reflection of our ourself when we look in the mirror so that's for the that's what that's for the body that's what the body has i'm pretty sure there's more of course 
my niche is the soul i will be bringing content that's going to help you help us and me as well uh, develop or understand our soul okay and i'm going to use personal experiences i'm going to use the bible i'm going to use um things that have happened to me and i'm also going to um share what god wants me to share and to tell you guys so this is what falls under the soul now let's get back to the spirit within our within our body there's we also have a spirit okay so you might you might be like confused now and you might you might be confused and you might be saying like um so i am three persons three people inside of me no it's not not three people you're one body but you have a spirit and a soul my understanding the spirit is what you don't see but it's inside of you inside of us okay um for us for those of us who accept jesus we become christians we believe jesus um the old spirit that was inside of us dies and you know when you hear people saying you're born again well that old spirit dies and then god gives you his spirit and you're born again which is your your when you're born again your spirit is born again not your soul not your body okay when you're born again when you accept jesus people say oh i'm born again but you're and you might be confused you look at them you look the same to me it, because your body is still the same like you know let's say i, I was born again today I accepted jesus um if i'm fat today i'm fat tomorrow you know I, even after i accept jesus um and the bible encourages us to renew our mind which is part of our soul through god's word um and that's why i always I always share the importance of reading and studying God's word because that's the only way we're going to renew our mind. If we don't renew our mind through God's word, uh, the world will. <laughs> the world, the TV, the social media, Hollywood, um, they will make you think what they want you to think because you allow it. So if you immerse yourself in god's word and allow god to renew your mind by um reading his word by uh just being in fellowship with god every day um he will renew your mind your thinking your uh, which will help you use your free will to choose right to, ch to make good choices in your life and uh you will be more conscious about things that are right and wrong and your emotions will not be all over your heart will be renewed as well you know god will give you a new heart uh, but you have to allow god to help you renew that when you are willing because um, a lot of people just say yes um yes god changed me yes god changed me change my heart change my mind uh, change my thinking you know change my heart uh, but then tomorrow comes and you are still doing the old things you're still thinking the old way um you're just like no this is how i always did things this is how i always think um so you're still using your free will to just remain the way you want to remain you don't want to allow god to change you and you're not going to go any further you're just going to have a title of i'm a christian but uh you're going to be but your mind your soul is going to uh be parked you know like a parked car in the garage that it's there um and it doesn't move you know and you use it once in a while but it's there you know i don't want to i don't want to change the oil i don't want to do nothing to it it's just there you know so you don't want to be that type of a person or a christian the spirit the spirit is now like i said in the beginning the spirit when you are born again your old spirit dies god gives you his spirit uh and his spirit is inside of us but god won't do nothing unless you allow him to that god's spirit won't, won't do nothing unless we permit him which 
God will not override. He can, but he's not going to go against your will. He wants you and your free out of your free will to choose to be led by his spirit, to choose to listen to him, to choose out of your free will to uh, let God's spirit lead you, transform your mind, your soul, which will affect your body. And I'm going to share how all this, you're still one, but they, how they all affect each other. So in our spirit, um, we have a, I put here, God Wi-Fi, wi uh, wi which means we have a connection uh, to God through His Spirit. Um, God's Spirit gives, God's Spirit gives life to our soul and our body. Um, when we allow God's Spirit to lead us, we become mature, okay? So our mind is renewed, but we become mature in, in the things that God wants us to mature, you know? Like, um, like for example, me, I'm always gonna, of course I'm gonna take me as an example. Um, I used to get so sensitive, I think on everything, simply because I was so insecure within, insecure of me, okay? I always uh, thought people are gonna reject me if they find out how insecure I am. So I always would get offended and sensitive some, if somebody said something and it would just crush me, you know? And so I was not mature in that level where uh, now you could say whatever, I know who I am inside, you know, I'm mature, I'm confident, I am not gonna let no one's words uh, affect me uh, because I know who I am. You know, I'm confident enough to just listen to you say something negative to me and respect you enough to um, say thank you or bye bye, be blessed, and then brush it off, okay? Does that make sense? So that type of maturity, it could be in, in, in that area, it could be in your thinking, it could be in a behavior, it could be in relationship, anything, you know, things that you do. So God's spirit is perfect, okay? God's spirit is always perfect. And God's spirit is complete, okay? With him, through him, we are complete there's no need to have anything else when you have when you're born again you accept Jesus Christ in your life you're born again God's Spirit lives in you and God's Spirit has all these gifts and all these things that he wants to give to us but he he wants us to choose to out of our free will to choose him to allow him to change our, our soul to, to, that which will affect our body and I'll tell you how when we are in connection with God's Spirit, is this making any sense? When we're in connection with God's Spirit, this is the Spirit, okay? Let's just create an umbrella. When we're in connection with God's Spirit, um, and we allow God to change our mind and renew our mind daily through the Word, by reading the Word, because God's Spirit is not going to just come to you as a ghost dressed in a white robe and just say, Hello, I'm here. I'm here to uh, clean your messy mind. I'm here to uh, uh, clean that dirty mouth. Or I'm, clean, I'm here to fix your behaviors or your life. Here's, a, here's my tools. Let's get to work. No, that's not, that's, not, that's not how God works, operates. He can, but He's not going to do it. God gave us His Word. He wants us to read the Word. And everything we need in this life is in God's Word. If you don't believe, that's fine. I respect it. If you don't agree, that's fine. I respect it. But deep down inside of you, you know it's true. You know why? Because when desperation hits in life, hmm. We all say, oh, God, help me. Oh, God, help me. God, why did you allow this to happen, you know? First, we blame him, and then we're like, God, help me. I'm in such a mess. God, get me out of this, please. And uh, first of all, don't blame God, because it's not God's fault if you fall into a mess or something happens, you know? We have a free will. That's the best thing God has given to us. And sometimes, 
uh, sometimes I wish he hadn't given us the free will sometimes I wish he just pressed the button and we behaved or acted but no we're not robots we're not puppets we're human beings we have a free will we have uh, that's our human right you know and no one should take that away from no one okay God's not gonna take it away from you no one has the right to take that away from no one so out of your free will when we choose to read the word study it not just read it and skim through it study it you know like right now I'm reading Matthew and today's verse was do not judge if you do not want to be judged and criticized and condemned by others so um, out of that verse I will sit down and I will write something whatever the God's Spirit leads me to write.